before we start i just want to say that the story moves from right to left and from top to bottom you can see the indications in the pictures from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 right to left top to bottom top to bottom right to left Angel then says to chapter 82, A Day of Blue Skies. Kitana Khan, Ryoko chan, you're going home, let's walk together. Okay. Oh, great, you're with him as usual. What? Man, can you shut your trap for once, bitch? Why are you always trying to break us two birds apart? How are you, Sichiru? Oh, Ikuno, come walk with us. Damn it, are you even listening to me? Kitano san! Crap. What the hell do you want, Kurudo? Get the hell out of here. What? Shut up, I just want to walk home with Kitano san. You get lost, punk. What? Hang on, Takeshi kun, Kurudo san. It's okay. We can all walk together, okay? Yeah, that's the leader I respect. Let's go. So the whole gang is here today. Everyone is walking home together. And all the people around are looking at them. Whoa, look at that. The Kitano family in full effect. Scary, man. And Crudo is smiling in. Wow, this is really fun. We should all do this more often. Only fun for you. It's kind of embarrassing having everyone stare at us, though. Hear that, Crudo? kitano doesn't like it. Get lost. What? Uh, no. I don't really mind. So Crudo is walking behind Kitano and Ryoko and when he, he was getting his chance to put his hand on Ryoko then all of a sudden Takeshi elbowed Crudo right in the stomach. You are so painfully predictable. Can't you even throw a wrinkle into your pattern? Crudo san oh! Crudo was in pain and was on the ground and now they're at the fork. Well we go this way now. Right. See you tomorrow Ryoko chan later all according to the plan as soon as friends a disappears koiso ryoko and i shall be together so Kuruto was trying to go after ryoko but takeshi kicked him again hey you oh your house is in the opposite direction where the hell you think you're going Arr! i have business with my kobodo master today with dad dad's out on business uh. oh good point in that case i'll try again later good later see you tomorrow yep goodbye so now everyone was going their own way are you going to leave or not i can't leave you alone with kitano san i don't trust you to behave well let's go ikuno ryoko and ikuno was uh, ready to go then ikuno stopped ryoko ryoko huh what you have to make your move today huh what what do you mean with kitano san of course it's nearly six months you've been together yeah true and how far have you gotten how far like that far i guess don't try to hide the answer from me be honest how far has your relationship gone ikuno put ryoko right on the spot uh, a kiss on the forehead, I guess. Forehead? A kiss on the forehead? What are you, daddy's little baby? You're talking about a kiss from the marathon, right? Let me warn you. Take too much time and you'll just turn out to be friends. And you know that ikuno has her sight set on him. And she won't play nice. In competition with her, you lose in looks and body. See what I mean about missing your chance? Ugh. Shut up! Kitanokun doesn't judge everything by looks. It's a competition on what's in Inside. She's not a bad person either when you get to know her. You are both rough around the edges, but because she is so pure and honest, it makes Ikuno chan looks all the more attractive. Ugh. And hard to tell whose side Ikuko is on. So, anyway. So Ikuko pushed uh, Ryoko. Kitano kun should be by himself now. Go track him down and take him to the park and talk about the memories or something. You can afford to go overboard a bit at this point. Ah, uh, no, Ikuko. So now on the other side, Kitano is saying bye to Ikuno and Takeshi. Well, I go this way. All right, see you later, Kitano sir. See you tomorrow. Bye, Takeshi kun. Bye, Ikuno chan. So they said their byes, and Kitano is leaving now. And now Ikuno Kuno and Takeshi are talking. I didn't realize your house was around here. Hell no. I live in total opposite direction. What? You got a problem with that? What's with you? Why would you ruin the sweet moment with just me and Sichiru? Huh? Your situation and any of my concern. Besides, I heard that injury Kitano got recently was from you. Why don't you explain to me how that happened, huh? So Takeshi was ready to start a fight with the Kuno. Then he saw Ryoko going behind Kitano san. It's her. Ryoko and then Ikuko just came right behind them and stay hidden to see what Ryoko is doing. That's it. Good luck, Ryoko. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Ah! Ikuko got scared when Takeshi 
and the Kuno called him all of a sudden. What the? What are you doing? When did you? What do you mean when? You are the one who just popped out of nowhere. No, it's it's not that. There, there's a good reason. Uh, What's with the stammering? You must be hiding something. Kitana kun, Ryoko chan. What's up? <laughs> not much. I just remember something I had to do. Oh, really? Okay. Let's walk together. Yeah. They got a good thing going. Is Ryoko plotting something? Is that what this is? Ikuko is getting scared. No, it's it's not that at all. It's just... You don't have to hide it. I think it would be for the best if they got together. I like being around them when they're so friendly and happy. ikuno cha. So when they get married, I can be his lover and all the things stay the same. That's the best. Yep, he's twisted. Look, anyway, this is a very important day for Ryoko, so I don't want you to ruin in it. What? Is she gonna jump him? That's wild. I need to see this. Don't you get this is your problem? What's wrong with it? It won't hurt them. That's not the point, see? Uh, Koiso Ryoko, hello there! While they're still talking, uh, Crudo showed up out of nowhere to go after Ryoko. Shit! But Takeshi got him. Takeshi and Ikuno jumped on him and brought him down on the ground. What? What? Huh? What the hell do you want? What the hell do you want, man? I thought you gave up and went home. Arr! I just got this funny feeling. My heart was saying that I shouldn't let her get away from me today. So what? Ikuno is thinking that there's some intuition. All right, make sure he stays tied up over here. I don't want to have to answer to Kitano-san if he gets loose at this crucial moment. Wait a minute. What do you mean crucial moment? Huh? I'll let your imagination work on that one. I'm still worried though. You gotta keep an eye out just to make sure nobody ruined their moment. Yes, I agree. So now they all are stalking Kitano and Ryoko. But they're just talking and just walking together. I feel like we are creepy stalkers. Absolutely not. We are simply rendering the service of seeing a great thing brought to a fruitation safely. That's what being a stalker is. Ryoko all of a sudden looked back. What's wrong, Ryoko-chan? Mm, I get the strangest feeling that we are being followed. All of the guys uh, take cover. Uh, must be my head playing tricks on me. Let's go. Clever as a fox. Her sheer animal intuition is exemplary. Oh, my face. Why did you do that? That hurt. Shh. They'll hear you. Then stop spying on her in the first place. So while they're fighting, someone else showed up. Long time no see Kitano Sichiru. Or should I say Kaiku's high number two? Today's the day we're gonna settle our score. Uh, oh shit, it's Ogisu, that retard. Why does he pick now to show up? <laughs> it took a while after I lost to you. I spent month after month training and training. And finally the day has arrived when I can challenge you again with confidence. See the results of my training with Haizo. Know the full impact of Koiso style Kobujutsu. So Gisu was about to go after Kitano, but Ryoko kicked him and then started punching him. Haven't I told you enough? This isn't what you use Koiso style Kobujutsu for. Kubudo is a type of mental training. While she's saying, she's also kicking and punching him. How many times we have to told you? It's not for fighting. Wow, she's making no sense at all. It's almost refreshing how contradictory her words and actions are. That's her in the nutshell, Ryoko. So Ryoko just <laughs> punched the shit out of the guy and just started walking. So I was saying... And just started talking normal. Kitano is looking at the poor guy. Ugh, fear the might of Haizo's daughter. I can see why he's number two's woman after all. So while Ogisu was on the ground, everyone else just started walking on top of him. God damn it, what the hell? Who the hell is tapping on my back? You got a death wish? Uh, what? What the hell you guys want? What's this about? Shut up, it's none of your business. Stay out on the ground if you know what's good for you, or else it'll be the last thing you ever do. Ah, it's strategic strike. The school's primary fighters are going on a raid without the Guardian. I like it. I'm in, people. Let me join up. I should be. You can't hide it from me. I know what's going on here. I'm a good worker, you know. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? Come on, just let me come along. Let's move out. Damn, I'm pumped up now. Woohoo! I've never seen anyone so excited to spy on people before. That's just telling you what a freak he is. <sighs>
So now there's four people talking on Kitano and Ryoko while they're just walking peacefully and talking. Hey guys, why are we following the number two and his woman from a distance? Just keep your fat mouth shut, dark. Ah, oh, I get it now. They are the advance party. They'll infiltrate first, then mess the shit up while the main force barge in to hit the core. Brilliant plan. He's cooking his own recipe in his own head. Then he saw Ikuko. Then all of a sudden... <laughs> Ogisu hit a kuko right on the head. Ah, excuse me, what was that for? We are not going to take you along if you can't behave. Oh, sorry, I, I just... Can't mess with her. You okay? Jeez, can't mess with her. I wonder if she's tough too. She seems so tiny. But she's also the one in command, it seems. And the other chicks turned out turf. So now Kitano and Ryoko are, instead of going home, they just went into a park. They went into a park. Here, is this where they'll do it? No, not here. It's another park i think the little park yeah i think oh good plan they'll be able to get things going naturally there hey what's this about let me in the convo guys and then there's the photographer taking pictures of different things and then she was taking pictures of uh, two little cousins she's thinking that they're cute she keep clicking more pictures than he saw the two cousins are saying hi to someone she keep looking at who that is devil son sana cha and then sana looked at ryoko and th she think oh she's so scary hello hi there leo kun how are things things are good it's in a lot of ways hello there it's it's been a while kitano kun oh kitano remembered her but kitano doesn't know her name she's the photographer who once tried to take pictures of kitano uh it's kaburagi kiyomi come on you can't even remember my name she seemed a little mad actually i don't think i ever knew it in the first place huh oh well then ryoko is just looking like who is she you look like you have no idea how to react to this don't bother trying i have no intention of doing anything to you two right now well then so kiyomi grabbed both the kids you children come with me they're going to make out now you shouldn't bother them what are you telling them ryoko is getting mad that why she's saying stuff like that and then kiyomi stopped goodbye kitano kun and thanks for everything i have much to be grateful to you for kitano is just shocked uh, that she said thanks to him all of a sudden come on let's play for a bit huh play what why don't you model for the photos okay so now they all left well shall we go ryoko cha uh okay hey for some reason that chick just took the kids and marched them off who was she no no idea and now kitano and ryoko are finally at the park here we are at the little park finally the time has come kuno is smirking huh the what has come the what now what's going on and Uiso is just wondering what's going on and this is the end of our chapter we'll see what's gonna happen in next angel and episode until then sayonara